to solve this non triangle triangle, we need to use size size rule. The reason is you have two angles here, given two angles. Okay, that's why you need to use side rule. Just keep that in mind for me. Now, the side rule is this. I over side A is equal to B over side B. Okay, angle B. That's the, the rules. Okay, so first of all, you identify the opposite side and angle first. This 25, 24 degree 25 minutes is opposite is x. Okay, so therefore, what we need to write is x over sine of 24 degree degree. Okay, and um, 25 minutes is equal to um, opposite of this is 18.8. Seven, so eighteen point seven over sine of fifty-eight degree and thirty-two minutes. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to get rid of sine of twenty-four degree and twenty-five minutes. So what that means is we need to time both side by side twenty-four, twenty-five minutes. Okay, so you go time by side of 24 degree and 25 minutes same thing i do the same thing on here so side 24 degree and 25 minutes so this cancel out so i'll get x is equal to 18.7 side of 24 degrees and 25 minutes over side of 58 degrees and 32 minutes now I just type this in my calculator okay I get this okay type them in and exact um, what is up here on the screen so it says equal so the answer okay is x is equal to um, 9.0627 and so on Okay, so please do not write this is the answer. Now, when you look at your question, okay, it didn't specify um, how many decimal places. So look at this. These questions um, is give me one point one decimal place, so eighteen point seven. So best to write in one decimal place. Okay, so we just write therefore. Okay, x is equal to nine point. Now before I round to nine point zero i need to look at this number here okay after zero is six so therefore from five onward and it add one to it so 9.1 okay centimeters okay so that's that's the answer and we can indicate this um correct to one decimal place as well okay let's move on next question question now okay this one here now you know that opposite of y, okay, is 103 degrees, and opposite of 52, the angle opposite of 150, I mean 52 is 37 degrees, and you know that two angles is given, so therefore, okay, obvious, all right. So we just use side rule. So opposite of this, as I mentioned earlier, is that, okay. So y and um, 103 degrees. So we just write down um, y over Sine of 103 is the same as 52 over sine of 37 degrees. Then we need to look for y. So because this is y divided by sine of 103 degrees. So what I do, I get rid of the sine 103. So by just multiply it. Okay, so sine of 103 and time by side of 103 on the right as well just remember whatever you do on the left hand side you need to do same thing on the right hand side okay it's just solving equation that's all so this is disappear so that means y is equal to 52 side 103 degrees all over side of 
37 you see then I just type that just type that in my calculator okay this is what I get okay so y is equal to okay is equal to 84 okay point one nine oh seven two five and so on okay that is your answer but again please do not write the whole lot like that okay so we have to um to round off okay because otherwise is is we, we call working mathematically so don't just write anything up here on your screen okay so therefore okay y is equal to because the answer the question doesn't ask us spec doesn't specify how many we have to round up to how many decimal places so in this case best to round it to two decimal places okay so what that means i write the number up to two decimal place this is it okay before you write 18 84.19 okay you need to look at the number after, um, just after it as well after nine just the one this okay for zero so because zero is less than less than five so your answer is just 84.19 okay so 84.19 of course don't forget your unit so this time the unit is centimeters in this question here okay so therefore y equal 84.19 centimeters all right let's move on next question okay this question here okay so you look at this is a non triangle triangle of course and two angle give, given so we use side rule okay so side rule we're looking for p so you know that p opposite of p is this angle here but then we cannot okay just do it because we don't have to have these angles that means two unknown val variable two unknown values okay so we cannot do it so first of all we need to find this angle first okay we need to find this angle first before we can find p now you know that in a in a triangle okay all angle add up to 180 degrees so what i do i go 180 180 degrees take away 103 and take away 53 degrees okay put that in a calculator okay and the answer is 24 degrees you see so I just fill this up first so 24 degrees now I can do it okay so opposite of P is 24 opposite of 145 is this see so now what I do I just write it out P over sine of 145 degrees is same as sorry sorry I mean size um, 24 so which is side 24 is equal to okay 145 over side of 103 degrees okay i put degrees here again i'm looking for p so i want to get rid the um the bottom here first by just do opposite so i time both side by side 24 so time side 24 degrees and time by side of 24 degrees so this disappear so now p is equal to 145 sine of 24 degrees or over sine of 103 degrees now put this in calculator okay my answer is 60.5 five two a and so on so I just try here first so equal to p equal to 60 okay point five two eight and so on now again because of the question didn't specify you know the answer to correct to how many decimal places so I just write in appropriate okay answer so which is two decimal place or oh, one doesn't matter okay but I'm just write two so that means two decimal place mean two number after decimal point so before i write that okay before i write 60 60.52 i look at this number after two it's eight so greater than five so i'm i've add one to two so which is 60 okay point 
0.53 centimeters correct to 2 dp okay 2 dp mean two decimal place now let's move on to our next question okay this one here last one okay this is the last question now you have two triangles non triangle triangle and you, the question is to find x so to find x you can see in this in this triangle here okay in this triangle here okay and you got two angles so you know that you you can use side rule okay or you have to use side rule anyway because you cannot use cos rule and you cannot use so katoa so side rule so two angles you see now so then I know that opposite of 32 angle 32 is x opposite angle 53 uh, we don't we don't have this side here so we can't find x yet x yet so we need to find this side length first so therefore I label this as a y okay so then I have to find y first then I look at this triangle here okay this triangle I have to look at this triangle to find y first agree now opposite of y is 73 degrees so therefore I write sine I, I write y first y over sine of 73 is equal to I put degree is equal to 53 over sine of 32 degrees okay I time both sides by sine of 73 so this means that y is equal to 53 sine 73 degrees all over sine of 32 degrees. Okay. Now I just type this exactly the same on the calculator. I get this. Okay. I get 95.64504536 and so on. Okay. I'm not going to write everything. So what I do. Okay, I write y, okay, equal, I just write 95, 95.65 will do, because I'm going to store the whole lot of number on my um, calculator. So what I do, because I'm not, I'm, I'm going to use it anyway, so I'm, I better to store this whole bunch of numbers on the calculator first, okay. Now to so store this in the calculator, I press shift, okay, store and then A. There you go. It said here, answer, store in A. Okay. So now, let's clear. See, check alpha A equal. See, there you go. So now what I do, I just leave at it is first. Now I can find X now. Okay. To find X, opposite X is 32 degrees. So I put X over side of 32 degrees is same as y over sine of 53 degrees there you go then i time both side by side of 32 because i want to get rid of the um, side 32 because i look for x so i time both side by that so which mean x okay is equal to equal to y okay but y this time what is it is 95.65 right but I store in A already, so it's the answer. The mean the Y is 95.65 sine of 32 degrees all over sine of 53 degrees. Okay. Now I'm gonna put that in the calculator. I just put it up first. Um, now let me let me clear the screen first. I press fractions. So now remember 95.65, if I put that in calculator, it, I will not get accurate result. Okay, so I'm going to alpha A, I'm going to recall memory. So alpha A is 95.65 and a whole other numbers as well. And then sine of 32 degrees. Okay, close bracket. Now I don't have to put a degree because there's no minute. So I can just leave as it is and close bracket. And I'm going down. And by pressing the arrow, okay, so it's over sine of 53 degrees, okay. And do not forget to close bracket, okay. Let's say I don't close bracket. If we, if I don't do that, what happened? Let's press equal. See, doesn't work, okay. So nothing wrong with the calculator because we didn't put I, I didn't put them um, the bracket in, 
that's why so just go back and go forward and then call brackets that's all okay so then the answer is 63.6463 and a whole bunch of numbers so what I do okay I just move this up first and I write in two decimal place of course right but I write the whole thing out first so I can explain so that's the answer x is equal to 63.4634 and so on and um, because the question does um, didn't specify how many decimal places with the answer so I just ran up to two decimal place okay so please do not write the whole lot out okay so we just round to two decimal place so this means that okay therefore x is equal to now before you write 60 46 you look at this number here see it's three less than five so therefore just answer is to 63.46 so therefore x is 63.646 okay just clear that first so 46 okay centimeters and then um, because around the two decimal place I just open bracket and just specify 2 dp mean two decimal place okay thank you so much for watching my videos